How's it going everybody? This is Pete here at Spawn Fly Fish and before we start tying this fly if you guys would be so kind as to hit like and subscribe we'd really appreciate it and let's get into this. So today I'd like to tie a, a double hot spot teal and peacock. So in the vise I've got the fire hole 523 and this is size 10 for the bead. Got the spawn football bead slotted to tungsten and this is gold and the size 6 millimeter. And just so we can position that and make sure it's not going to move on us and spin and twist, I want to add some 0.020, and this is non-lead weighted wire. Once I've got some wraps on there, cut that front I'm using the curved side of my little scissors here and just round that cut portion over. And I'll do the same on the rear, like so. And then from there, Position the bead so that the bulk of it is underneath the shank and then it'll properly keel this jig style hook, hook point up. Once you have that, let's get some thread started. And for today's thread, I've just got some fluorescent orange Vivas 140. And once I get that started on there like so, go ahead, trim that tag end out. Boom, done. So now, if you've watched this before, we'll start with some 45 degree angle wraps, both up and down, and we'll do that up twice. And now what we can do is have our bobbin try to fall apart. There we go. And now that I've got those X wraps on there, I'll come through with some straightforward wraps and really cinch that wire down and prevent that bead from moving on us. All right. So now what we want to do is, like I said, this is a double hot spot. So what we're going to have coming off the back here, and I know a lot of you are, are familiar with this product from, this is the Bug Shop Glow Bug Yarn. And this happens to be the Steelhead Orange. Let me get that undone. As you can see, it wants to grab onto every little thing. This is a very elastic type material. So what I'm going to do is tie this down on the bottom side of the shank, I'm gonna get rid of a piece of that so it's not so difficult to work with. And I'm just gonna tie that all the way back and coming off of there, uh, we get a nice little tag of this bright orange coming off like so. Once you've got that, all we're gonna do is pull it with a little bit of tension and give it a cut straight across. What I'm looking for is to match the gap of the hook Right, like so. And you see it just gives you a stubby little tail, but that's okay. That's all we need is a little bit of a sight right there and another hot spot for them to key in on. And at this point, let's wrap this rest all the way up to where the big wire or weighted wire starts. And like so. That way we'll maintain a little bit more even underbody. Give my hands here for one second. Now we're up to the wire. Get in front of it. Trim that out. And for those of you that fish for sea run cutthroat, like this fly should probably make a little bit of sense to you already. The sea runs absolutely love those hot spots. So for next element here, I've got a wood duck dyed teal feather from Hairline. And I'm just going to trim the tip out. I'm going to tie this in so that the nice part is facing up and the less desired side facing the hook shank. And for those who are into technical terms, the concave portion is facing the hook shank right now. And this bobbin has just about had it. All right, so once we get that tied in, I'm going to coax those fibers all back facing over the, the bend. And then I'm going to start wrapping this very carefully on that first portion because we are dealing with the hook point. So not only will you potentially do some damage to that feather, but your fingers will, will catch. You don't want that. And at this point, I'm actually wrapping on the inside of the quill, not on the sides, but the flat portion inside. I just want to get those fibers out of my way. And two or three wraps. That's all we need. And let me get my 
I thread back to where the business is. Like so. And now I'll make a clean V where I want to tie this feather off. So these fibers right here I don't want. I can handle this and then simply turn that a little following in that clean little V section I just made. Get a couple wraps there behind it. And at this point, I'm grabbing my bodkin and we're going to release all these trapped fibers, like so. Now you can see that cleaner separation that we made. So there's three and four wraps to secure. And then I'm gonna take a couple wraps just in front. And that way when I cut this feather out, nothing's gonna move. So everything stays where I want it. Once we get this out of the vise, we can make those fibers look a little prettier too around that. All right, so now we're gonna tie in the rib before we tie in the body material. And for the rib today, I've got some uni French tinsel, and this is gold, size medium. And again, I'm looking roughly where the weighted wire ended there. Fix the bobbin. This is Tie it all the way back to those last wraps where you ended your feather. And at this point, let's get some, you know it, peacock eyed stick. And I'm going to grab four or five hurls off of here. The exact number doesn't have to be anything crazy, it's up to you at, as you're sitting there tying this fly. But I do want a substantial body that has enough bulk to kind of withstand that oval tinsel. Tie that all the way back. Fix our bobbin a little bit. And let's get up to right about there. Now we can trim those guys out. And we'll take all these peacock curls that we just wrapped and start gently twisting them together to form a rope that is culmination of all those pieces. Once you have that, just carefully start wrapping. Be mindful of your hook point and just work your way slowly forward to the bead or toward the bead. We're not actually going to go all the way to it. Oh, I'm going to lose that fiber real quick. All right, so just back up, grab them all, spin again as you go. And if you do lose one, well, it's not going to be the end of the world. But since we're already here, let's use a little rotary type action and call that good. And tie that off right there. Got a few good wraps there on top and then a couple in front. And now we can get all the butt sections of those peacocks hurls out of there. So at this point, I do want to counter wrap. So since I came toward you with the peacock curl, I'll come toward myself with this oval tinsel. And this stuff is a little bit different. So be patient and really wiggle and jiggle it as you're coming through that peacock. And it'll really cinch down, make a strong body. This thing won't come apart on you. And it just gives a nice little segmentation to that body. So there's four wraps here and we'll end it on the fifth as we come right behind the bead with this, like so. Tie that off. And a couple wraps in front, nothing to it. Let's trim this guy out. All right, we are getting close to being done with this fly. Two more elements to go and we're tying the last one in first, and the last one is another teal feather, also dyed that wood duck tan. And I'm going to trim out the tip, the much like I did for the tail section. And we're going to tie this one in over the eye, and you'll see why here in a second. Get a nice little working area cut out there, and then what I want to do is just Tie this in like so. And as you can see, yes, it is going out over the hook eye 
and I've got it so that the concave is facing up this time and the convex is tied toward the hook. So it's the opposite way we, we tied in the tail as far as that part. But after we put in this little thorax hotspot, we're going to bring this back and wrap it so you'll see why we, we tie it in this way. Get all those, oop, let's yank that out. That's good. Better to find out now than after a fish bites it. Let me just retrim here and we'll get that tie back in. Undo a couple thread wraps. I only did this for the people that missed it the first time. We never mess up here. No such thing. Alright. Let's try that again. get a wrap in front of this guy and come back again behind it. I'm happy with that. All right, so now for our last hot spot, I've got some Spawn UV Steelhead Torch Semi Seal, and this is really gonna help finish this fly, make it pop. So now, depend, you know, it doesn't matter which end of the fly they happen to see go by them, they're just gonna see either a little orange hot spot or they're gonna see a little orange hot spot. Either way, we're going to chomp on it. So just a little dubbing. All I'm going to do is wrap back to our peacock. Once I've got that, I'm going to wrap back to right behind the hook eye or the bead and then take one thread wrap so I get in front of this feather. And at this point, again, just bring all those fibers back. And we're just looking for one or two wraps here right behind that hook eye. And you can see what we're going to get is like that soft hackle look and that's perfect. I'm going to bring these feathers out of the way if I can separate them right there and tie that off. Like so. Be patient. Make sure you get a clean separation. It'll, it'll help you as you tie this, this feather down. So there's one. Really get it cinched in there. And two. Let's get one more for good measure. Really solidify that feather. And now in front for two wraps. Now that, that tag end is definitely trapped. It's not popping out. It's not moving either way, forward or backward. It's just there. It's done. It's tied on. And at this point, you can separate some of these teal fibers too and really get an, you know, a, a better idea of how this fly is going to look in the water on the paws and how it'll slick back when you're stripping it. It's beautiful. All right, so now just need to put a whip finish on this thing. We are good to go fishing. We got four wraps here for the first one. Let's go ahead and throw a second whip finish in here because this thing is going to definitely get chewed up. Like so. So now you can see why I used the orange thread. It just lines up when it gets next to that semi-seal and really makes more sense. Trim out that thread. Let's get some cement on here. And for today, we've got the Loon Hardhead Clear. And we're just gonna cover all these thread wraps and make sure this is as strong as we can possibly make it. And that way, catch a couple extra fish and the reward is yours for putting in the effort to tie your own flies. And there we go. Nothing crazy. Like I said, if this is, if it's anything, it's a, a practice in patience. It's a great way to utilize some smaller feathers that, that tend to be in these packs, whether it be teal or mallard, whatever. You know, don't get discouraged and go, oh man, I, I didn't get any really big feathers in my pack today. Well, there are things you can do with those smaller feathers and this would be one of them. So there we have it. We got the double hot spot, teal and peacock, tied jig style, so you can bounce it on the bottom, get into those nooks and crannies, and really find where the fish are. Hope you guys enjoy this. Tie a bunch of them. And as always, please hit like and subscribe, and we will see you on the water.